What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? I'm Animagus, and today I want to give you the details for the Nature and Nifflers event that will be beginning April 28th at 11 a.m. Pacific and ending April 30th at 11 a.m. Pacific. I'm going to go over the blog post, the event details, and I have a really cool new mechanic that has never existed before in Wizards Unite. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about that, and I'm really excited about that as well. So make sure you guys stick around because this is going to be everything that you need to know about the Nature and Nifflers event. From the blog post, it says, Witches and Wizards, keep your eyes peeled for signs of a new oddity-like combat encounter. The Poacher. This dastardly villain is targeting Magizoology Foundables, and your help is needed to save our furry little friends. So, please note, to enable as many players around the world as possible to participate safely, this event has been adjusted to facilitate playing from home. Please remember to adhere to local rules and regulations and be respectful of others and your surroundings. From April 28th at 11 a.m. to April 30th at 11 a.m. Pacific, keep an eye out for the following. A new oddity-like combat encounter, the Poacher, will appear on the map. Defeating the Poacher will reveal Magizoology traces including Nifflers, Mooncalves, Billywigs, Young Graphorns, Baby Nifflers, Akami Eggs, Unicorns, and Newt Scamander. Successfully returning a trace revealed by the poacher will result in additional rewards such as rare potion ingredients, tonic for trace detection potions, gold, or silver keys. Tonic for trace detection will increase the chance of encountering the poacher as well as Newt Scamander. Special 1 km portmanteaus will appear on the map containing Thunderbird or Akami fragments. A special assignment with rewards including spellbooks, silver keys, and gold. So I am very excited for a new type of encounter. It's actually been a dream of mine or something I've been thinking about for a long time since before Wizards Unite even began, that it would be fun to have almost a boss fight-like encounter. And I don't expect these poachers to be particularly beefy, but one thing that I've always loved in video games that I've played is when you defeat a boss or you defeat a foe and the loot just comes out of them, like they just drop it. I mean, that's something that dates back to like RuneScape, World of Warcraft, all of those old RPGs that I used to play. I think about all of the loot just dropping from the boss, and that's a really fun way to reward your players. So I'm definitely looking forward to uh, to being into this. So I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. But before I do that, I want to go over the tasks. So starting with the tasks, we have defeat the poacher 20 times for two Erumpet Horn. Use three tonic for trace detection for two powdered dragon claws. Earn 7,000 wizarding XP for one unicorn hair. Return 30 Magizoology family foundables for one unicorn hair. Return 10 nifflers or baby nifflers for 20 gold. Return 10 high threat foundables for two silver keys. And after you do all of the tasks, your rewards will be three spell books, one dawdle draft, and 300 wizarding XP. So I want to talk more about the poacher. So the poacher is basically going to be like, you know, you're sitting at home playing the event and all of a sudden you see an oddity pop up on your map and you're thinking like, oh my gosh, what is, what is this? What's going on? So you go to check it out and you find yourself confronted by a poacher. What even are you? Now the poacher is basically an oddity that collects and captures all types of different animals. And I'm not exactly sure how that is involved with the calamity itself. But the poacher is essentially a badder, worse version than Mundungus Fletcher. Very vicious and very vile. So once you go into combat with the poacher and defeat them, you will find their loot on the ground. You can find things, like I said before, uh, tonic for trace detection, rare potion ingredients, mm. gold, silver keys, all that kind of stuff. All of those different types of things can come from the poacher. So make sure you're aware of that. Um, like I said, it will basically be the loot that comes out those traces will come out of the poachers pockets if you will and you'll experience those on the map and see them on the map after the poacher is defeated so that's really really cool i'm excited about that and i'm interested in seeing how that mechanic works and plays out um, and now i want to talk about the store bundles the complimentary conservation pack will be free so that is something that you will get for free and it will contain one silver key 50 spell energy one tonic for trace detection and you can only pick up one of those. There will be an Intrepid Explorer pack available for 420 gold. You can buy up to five, and it will contain four keys, one tonic for trace detection, and 100 spell energy. The Conservation Champion pack will also cost 420 gold. You can buy up to five of those, and it will contain four tonic for trace detection, two dawdle drafts, and 100 spell energy. 
Uh, personally, I am way more interested in the Intrepid Explorer pack just because of the silver keys. If you're into that sort of thing, that's great. If not, that's great too. You can continue to play for free. Hopefully, we'll see several silver keys drop from the poacher himself uh, because once you return the rewards and re once you return the foundables that drop from the poacher, you're supposed to be able to see um, you know, silver keys and gold and all that stuff more often. So fingers crossed for that. I'm also excited about seeing Newt Scamander. He is a foundable that I'm lacking. Um, this is basically my whole Magizoology family pages. Um, the Akami and the Thunderbird are going to be in a one kilometer port key. So you have a 50-50 shot at that. I personally uh, wish that there were, you know, a couple of different port keys. This is actually brought up by Orange Wizard that we would have different port keys that have one in each, which would be really nice. So that may or may not change after the recording of this video. But as of right now, the way that it is set is that the one kilometer port key will contain a Thunderbird fragment or an Akami fragment. So make sure that you don't open those port keys if you are full on either of those stickers until you're able to prestige because like community days in the past, it will just waste those fragments and you won't get to collect those or use those on your page. So I hope that that makes sense. That is all that I have for you today. I am so excited. There's This week has just been huge. It's going to continue to go out. There's more news, I promise. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section about this event. Are you excited about this event? Are you going to be able to proceed your pages? How are your pages looking? Um, for me personally, I'm getting close to being done with my new suitcase page. So that'll be really cool to proceed that one to gold and hopefully get some really good progress on all these other ones. If this is your first video that you've ever seen me do or make, I really appreciate you stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to leave a like on the video down below, as well as hitting that red subscribe button and turning on those bell notifications. It really does help out the video. YouTube sees that people are interacting and enjoying the content, so that helps out the channel a whole lot. Thank you guys so much for everything. I really do appreciate each and every person that watches a video. Um, and I can't wait to see what happens. I'm going to be doing uh, a few streams, hopefully, throughout the days coming, where I'm going to be working through every single runestone that I own in doing the night bus uh, fragment challenges and all of that stuff. So thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And until next time, peace.